It was once one of Detroit's most thriving neighborhoods. Black Bottom was a thriving African-American community in the city until it was leveled decades ago to make way for I-375. But as our Coco McAvoy shows us, you can now relive the past at one unique exhibit. Black Bottom is an important part of Detroit's history, and now the vibrant community is being remembered through a series of photos at the Detroit Public Library. Black and white photos display Detroit's Black Bottom, a once thriving community. It's nice. And all of the memories rush back for Robert E. Miller. When I seen it, I was shocked. I, I know these houses. I grew up around these houses. Miller works as a security guard at the Detroit Public Library. He grew up in the city of Detroit and remembers visiting his aunt in Black Bottom. And we spent a lot of time running up and down these streets and it was a community. A prosperous community and one of the only neighborhoods where black people could live at the time. We used to borrow eggs from the neighbor across the street or a cup of sugar from the lady next door. It was demolished in the 1950s in the name of urban renewal. They started putting the, the freeways in. That, hit, that hurt us a lot. That's why Emily Cutill worked with a number of people to revive it. It's really important that we understand um, the history of Black Bottom, um, both the significance of what that community was um, for the city's history, um, the important uh, individuals and institutions that came out of that neighborhood. Miller is taking on the role of tour guide these days, sharing his experiences with people when they visit the exhibit. And we need to teach our kids the history of where we came from and what happened. He may even bring his aunt along for a tour soon. She might tell me, boy, you know I ain't going up there. <laughs> but she's a beautiful lady. I would like to see bring her though. To remember what was Black Bottom, an integral part to Detroit's history. I'm Coco McAvoy, Local 4. And the library is holding an unveiling ceremony on Saturday, January 26th. The exhibit will run through March.